What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back here with another MLB 16 The Show Baltimore Orioles franchise. And today, your 47 and 40 Baltimore Orioles are at home for the final game of the first half of the season. This is right before the All Star game. And today, Ybaldo Jimenez is going to take on Andrew Heaney in the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and they're 44 and 44. So they break even nearing the All Star break. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to this channel at all, hit that subscribe button. You're taking a look at the standings. You see teams like uh, Toronto, Tampa Bay, and we're sitting here in third place. Like, wow, we're doing we're actually doing pretty good, and we're still in the third place because you got Tampa Bay and Toronto just tearing it up. Um, you see that the uh, Cleveland Indians are at the top of the Central. The Astros are starting to separate themselves a little bit. They're starting to get better as the season progresses. This is a good thing for the Astros as well, since. You know, they're not doing so good in real life, sadly. Um, but, um, 48 and 40 for the Astros. You get the Rangers sitting here at the bottom. You, we're still at the second slot in the wild card spot. Uh, but, uh, the Red Sox are right behind us. They're, like, inching ever so closely. You got the Mets in first place in the East with the uh, Nationals right behind them. And you got, obviously, the bottom three, like the Marlins, Braves, and the Phillies. You got the Cubs and the Cardinals sitting at the top of the Central. Cardinals at first place, but only a game and a half I think uh, but that could easily change in the matter of a couple games and you get the Giants on top of the West and the Dodgers are four and a half games back on that one and uh, interesting way to say to say the least um, how the standings in the games are playing out you see the Cubs are in the top of the um, wild card along with the Nationals Dodgers is half game behind them and like I like I said I hope we can make the playoffs if we don't I'm not gonna be too upset uh, because there's a lot of good competition in the American League this year. Toronto's excellent. Um, Tampa Bay is pretty good as well. Houston is also really good. You know, I wouldn't say in I wouldn't say the Cleveland Indians are actually kind of good because they're kind of dangling around 500 and they're still leading the division. Which teams like that, I I'm not really seeing much of a threat in the postseason. But you take a look at some of the stats. You got players like Manny Machado starting to catch fire. Chris Davis. Uh, Adam Jones are all going to the All-Star game. Um, we need to get Jonathan Scope uh, going because, man, if he gets going, this team could be very dangerous. And uh, if we could get you know him, Trumbo, and um, Kim involved in – and, like, Rickard's actually doing really well as well. I'm thinking he could become a very, uh, very good player for this team. Um, he's been very good at stealing the bases. And uh, he hasn't hit a home run. He's not known for his power. But, I mean – if he's doing his job, I mean, I think he deserves an everyday spot in the lineup. Um, and obviously play in center field because he has the speed to, you know, get uh, chase down long fly balls. It, I don't know. We might move Adam Jones around. We might move uh, Mark. We might move Joey to right field. Um, but it's all, you know, it's all in the works. You know, we're still trying to build this team and everything else. But I feel like Joey Rickard's really coming along nicely. I mean, uh, I mean, he's hitting 230, something that you really don't see out of a guy like him who's only 67 overall, but every time he gets on base, he steals bases, man. But that's what we like to see. You like we like to see our young prospects come in and just like I wouldn't say blend in right away, but they they're starting to find their way in the majors. You see Hunter Harvey and uh Dylan Bundy doing really well as well we might give if it's you know we might give hunter harvey some starts later on in the year um depending on how the bottom of the rotation goes but you take a look at zach britton as well uh one of the top closes in all of baseball and uh now we're gonna get on with this game against the la angels it should be a good one and uh we will see you there at oriole park once again so it's the angels they have a lot of good players they have mark Tr um uh, mike trout obviously one of the best players in the league They've had a long time, you know, superstar in Albert Pujols. Um, you know, me being a Cubs fan, you know, I have to deal. With, I had to deal with Albert Pujols for quite some time, and he was always a big, scary threat when we faced him. Um, uh, you know, they got a lot of good players. Andrew Heaney's a good player, a good pitcher. We got to face him today. You Baldo Jimenez on the mound today for the Orioles. You take a look at the starting lineup. You got Cole Calhoun, a Gold Glove winner, and you got G former Cub Giovanni Soto. On there, you know Escobar is also doing really well at third base, hitting 270 this year. You see Mike Trout swinging and missing on a pitch down and a little bit in, and Ubaldo Jimenez gets out of the first inning. So here comes Andrew Heaney, the starting pitcher for the or uh, the Angels, four and three with a 319 uh, and uh, 17 games this year. Has a lot of uh, indecisions this year. Um, 
<laughs> he, may, he may not be getting – he's getting a lot of situations where he just gets a lot of no decisions. You take a look at our starting lineup. Joey Rickard at DH, Adam Jones, uh, Mark Trumbo. Uh, we're going to sit Chris Davis out because he's not very good against lefties. Jonathan Scope, we want him to get going. Jimmy Paredes, I really like Jimmy Paredes as well. And this could be one of those games where, you know, it's not going to be – it's going to be a lot of small ball today. And that's something the Orioles aren't really known for because, you know, they, they like to hit for power. But we're getting out of the first inning ourselves without a run. And in the second inning, uh, we got a pop-up right behind where Readers is at. And he grabs that one to end the threat there as well. So now we go to the bottom of the second here. Andrew Heaney doing pretty good on the mound. Let's see what we could do against Jimmy Paredes. And he nearly hits him. I think he actually did hit him. It was ball four regardless. But he is going to take his base. And nice eyes right there by Jimmy Paredes to let that one go. Or, you know, I it, it's hard to tell if he got hit or if he just ducked out of the way and get, the catcher couldn't handle it. It's hard to tell. It was so far inside, you know. But later on, it's Hyung Soo Kim. He gets himself a drive into center field. Base hit. And the, the Orioles are in business. Uh, like I said today, this will be a lot of small ball. You know, a lot of singles. You know, we don't have – we have our power hitters still in the lineup. But with Chris Davis sitting on the bench because he's not very good against lefties, uh, we may not see that power production today. Uh, but we're going to get out here with nothing as well as Weeders grounds out to Pujols to end the inning. And now later on in the third inning, you ball to him and his facing. You nail Escobar. And Escobar hits this one up the middle. Base hit. And that one's going to get the, Ori or the Angels their first hit of the game. And let's see if they could do something with it. Who knows? You got later on, uh, Ubaldo Jimenez gets this one to pop. This guy to pop up to left field. And um, Paredes is right there to grab that one to end the inning for the Angels. So now here we go to the bottom of the third now. We have Mar uh, uh, J.J. Hardy hitting this one back up the middle. Base hit. And the Orioles are now back in business once again. This time they get a hit instead of a leadoff walk from Paredes. And uh, later on in the inning, it's Joey Rickard, very next batter. Joey Rickard's been doing really well, like I said before. And this time, he smokes one down the line and left base hit. And that's going to end up being a double for Rickard. As now, J.J. Hardy's now at third base. And two on two in scoring position with nobody out. This is the perfect opportunity to at least get one on the ground. And we would at least score one. So here's Adam Jones now, very next batter. The first pitch he sees, he's going to take this one to second base. And that's going to be right there. Nice RBI sacrifice, and the and the Angels give up one right there. It's uh, now one nothing Orioles. As nice little small ball right there. I like the small ball play. You know, it's something that I hardly ever do with this team. But you see right here, back deep down the uh, field, uh, center field. And that's actually kind of shallow. But Rickard's gonna give it a shot, and he is out. Nice fly ball, nice throw right there from uh, Mike Trout. And that's going to end it. So later on, it's Pujols at the plate. You bottle him and is continuing to deal as Pujols fouls that one off. But now it's one and two as you bottle him and is at the, on the mound. Swing and a miss from Pujols. And that's going to end the inning for the Angels once again. So now later on, it's in the fourth. Machado's going to take this one. Sneaks it past the shortstop base hit as Machado gets on base. And we know we like to get Machado on base because, you know, we, he's a good hitter. He's a very good hitter. So now later on. It is going to be uh, J.J. Hardy once again. Or not, not Jonathan Scope, actually. <laughs> Takes this one down the right field line. And that is going to end up being a double. And now Machado is going to go for the plate. And Machado is safe. So now 2-0 Orioles. As that one gets to be an RBI double for Jonathan Scope. And that's a great hit right there. Nice piece of hitting to take it to the opposite field. And now we have Jonathan Scope here on third with one away. Here's Hyung Soo Kim. And Kim takes this one back up the middle. Nice grab by the shortstop, but that's going to give us another run. So it's now 3-0 Orioles. As, like I said, the, we, not, we aren't using our power to win today, which is unusual for this team. But you see Matt Weider striking out to end the inning right there for the Orioles. But Humaldo Jimenez continuing to deal, but he gives up a base hit right here to Giovanni Soto. And that is going to be a nice, one hit, or a nice single right there to try and get them started. Let's see what they could do with it. They've gotten a couple of hits this game. You know Escobar, who's already got a hit on the day, but not this time as Mark Trumbo is going to get the out right there at first base. So nice play right there to end the inning for the Angels once again. Here in the fifth, though, J.J. Hardy back up the middle for a base hit. J.J. Hardy gets his second single of the day. And let's see. He's got his, two, he got his second hit. Let's see what Joey Rickard could do this time. And this time, Joey Rickard's going to get a ground ball, double play ball. No, he throws it over uh, Pujols' head. And that's going to end up having Joey Rickard at second base. Let's see if we can make them pay for the mistake that they made. 
So Trumbo, see you later. Swing and a miss, strike three. And that's going to end the uh, fifth inning. So now here in the sixth, here is Ubaldo Jimenez continuing to do work on the mound. And that is going to end up being a fly ball to Jimmy Paredes for the out. And Paredes continuing to do work in the outfield. He might get himself a gold glove, I think. He's up for some He's up for some award, I think. I think he's up for gold glove. But um, I'm not too sure. But right here, this is where things start to go a little crazy here in, in the bottom of the sixth. Machado takes a walk on five pitches. No big deal. Next batter. Machado steals second. Yes, he does. He does steal second. Barely. But a steal's a steal. And we get ourselves in scoring position right away. So now 3-0 here. We're going to take a 3-1 count here. To scope. Ball four. Scope takes a walk. And now we have two on and nobody out. So two straight walks here for the Angels reliever here. He's not doing so hot. But he throws now a wild pitch. So now two in scoring position. Now second and third with Paredes at the plate. And Paredes, you know, he could do some damage to you. But they're going to intentionally walk him instead. So probably a smart move right there to actually walk him to Kim later on in that inning. So now they got one away with the bases loaded. Weeders at the plate. And this time he's going to be a pop fly to left field. Let's see if we're going to try and take home here with a tag up from third. And that's going to be 4 nothing as Machado gets his second uh, run of the game. And now it's 4 nothing. Nice sacrifice fly from Weeders. And... And it extends our lead to a nice, comfortable lead right here. So, J.J. Hardy now going to ground ball uh, to end the inning. So, nice inning right there. We got the bases loaded. We got some one out of it, so it's not the end of the world, right? So, Ubaldo Jimenez this time gives up a fat pitch up. And Pujols says, I will have one of those to leave the yard. And uh, that's, I think, his 17th home run of the year. So, Pujols' power numbers are just where they need to be. And now... It's four to one as Ubaldo Jimenez is, just gave up a big fat. Uh, I think it was a, I think it was a slider, a fat slider that just did not break, and that's something that we kind of needed there because you know Ubaldo Jimenez's slider has been effective all game until that point. So let's see if he can get out of this. Let's see how rattled he is after giving up that big home run to Albert Pujols, and uh, it doesn't seem to be much effect to him at all because he just got out of the inning with a strikeout. So now. Here in the seventh inning, Adam Jones getting this one past the shortstop once again. Base hit. And now Adam Jones continuing to do work. You know, he hasn't had many uh, power hitters. He hasn't, had, he hasn't had his power numbers show up today, but he has been effective. So we'll say that much. But later on, Mark Trumbo um, could have easily gotten to a double play ball, but Pujols just like, I'm not going to make that throw. Um, so the, he did the smart thing there to get the out at first at least. So now later on, after an intentional walk, here in the seventh inning, uh, Jonathan Scope swing and a miss, uh, but wild pit, or actually I think that was a pass ball, and now runners at second and third here, with you know two outs now, bases loaded after another intentional walk, uh, but they get out of it here, as uh, that was a pop fly right there. So now it's still four to one, and now we put on Hunter Harvey at on the on the mound here, and he gives up a quick base hit to start off the inning. His little appearance here he gives up one and now the angels are in business so let's see what the angels can do here let's see if they can turn this into something you now escobar gets his second hit of the game so soto and escobar get back-to-back -back hits so now we got to try and settle down hunter harvey and try and get him to uh not give up anything big so now second and third i decided to do an intentional walk uh because i didn't want that to be a thing I wanted to get the nice double play box it works out beautifully right here smart baseball by the Orioles Hunter Harvey gets the intentional walk and gets Cole Calhoun to ground out into a double play 4-6-3 style and bam so now Matt Weeders at the plate here in the top of the ninth takes this one to deep right center and that one is gone home run Matt Weeders home run Baltimore Orioles it's now five to one and now Cole uh, not Matt or Hunter Harvey has now got himself a chance to get a save opportunity with this lead now because he's going to get a six-out save. Um, so we'll see how he does. That's Weeder's 12th home run of the season. He's obviously been doing pretty well this year. 402 feet, and now the Orioles have a 5-1 lead. Nice hit piece of hitting right here by Joey Rickard, and he's going to try it for second, but he is tagged out. He thought he had the speed, but apparently not. But later on, uh, Hunter Harvey continuing to do work. 
gets the fly ball here to Kim and right, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to end the ball games. Orioles win 5-1. Not many home runs today by the Orioles, but we did get one from Weeders. Um, a lot of scary moments today from the uh, pitching in the later part of the game. Hunter Harvey could have easily blown this game, uh, but you know he kept his composure and did well. He, uh, you know, did two solid innings, struck out one, gave up a couple hits early on, but he settled down and uh, got himself his first career save. We didn't give it to Darren O'Day uh, or Zach Britton later on because I wanted to get the younger guys some experience. We were up by a, a pretty good margin, so I didn't want to get that kind of pitching involved. I want to save their arms uh, for later on in the year. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. And if you're new to this channel, hey, there's a subscribe button down below. You guys are showing that support. You guys are killing it in the support for the Baltimore Orioles. Hopefully, we can make the playoffs. We're now 48 and 40. We're still a few games out, and we're still only a few games ahead in that wild card spot. We're in, we're in the middle right here. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always, and I'm out. Peace. Jimenez. His record is now seven and six.